this is Christy with MyScrapbookEvolution.com and today I'm going to share with you this quick and easy tutorial for creating your own canvas. You can keep it for yourself or give it as a gift. You're going to need the following supplies. A canvas, some paper napkins, gel medium or Mod Podge, and a sponge or a paintbrush. We're going to start by unfolding our napkin and cutting it apart. Unfolding the napkin will give you usually two to four pieces that you can work with on the design. And I apologize for the focusing and unfocusing of the camera. I didn't realize it was doing that when I was recording the video. You want to pull the backing off of the napkin because later on when you start to glue it down, that portion will bubble up and it may cause the top part of the design not to stick properly. And you'll get extra wrinkling that you don't want. If you're using a rectangular canvas, you'll need to decide whether you're going to use it horizontally and vertically. I like for my design to kind of run off the edge, so you'll see me cut apart the napkin. I cut it in half, and I kind of place it in such a way that it runs off the side of the canvas. The next stage is to add a little bit of your Mod Podge or gel medium to the canvas and then stick the napkin down. You don't have to completely cover it. You just need a little bit to start and we'll be sealing it in in a moment and getting out the wrinkles. Don't worry too much about the edges, we'll deal with those last. Right now you just want the napkin to hang off the top part of the canvas. The napkin will become wet while you're working with it and the glue. Be gentle, as gentle as you possibly can. If it tears, you can sometimes gently, as I'm doing here with this ear, fix it back into place. If that doesn't work, you can remove it and replace it. These cocktail napkin packs come with a lot of napkins in them and when you unfold them you get double or quadruple the design so it's not too big a deal if something tears. You want to start from the center of your napkin design. So from the cat I started with the center of each face and then I work outwards. That allows you to push out any bubbles and get out as many of the wrinkles as you possibly can. You're probably not going to get out every single wrinkle in the napkin, and that's okay. It just adds to the texture of the canvas, making it more visually interesting. You can gently lift and overlap parts of the napkins while they're wet. You can just be careful so that they don't tear. If something tears, you just lift up the napkin, as you'll see me do in a moment, and replace everything. One thing you do want to consider is that the napkin may bleed a little bit when you add the glue and you can see the white outline from the cat's head on the canvas here. You may want to test out your napkin on a piece of white paper before you put it down on your canvas to see if you're okay with the amount of ink bleed that you get. I was fine with it. It, it created just a little bit of a gray ink bleed on the canvas and it looked like brush strokes. So for me it just added to the kitschy feel of the canvas made it look more homemade and I was alright with that. Once everything is sealed and covered on the top to your satisfaction you just pick up the canvas and begin sealing the napkin over the edge. You can gently just fold the napkin, work on one side of the canvas at a time and fold it towards the side and around the back. If there's a whole bunch of napkin left over, you can always trim the edges off after the canvas has dried completely. The great thing about this is that depending on the glue you're using, dry time is very short. I was able to complete this canvas in less than an hour. If you'd like to see the complete supply list, more detailed shots and tips, you can visit myscrapbookevolution.com. I'll provide the link to that in the notes for this video.